Hey everyone, Mike here with Tri-6 Dream. Today we got something exciting. I want to introduce you Brandon and John. They're going to be leading our Airsoft videos. Uh, so we're going to be introducing more Airsoft stuff to the channel. And I'm going to hand it off to them. And as always, thanks for watching. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're out here with Tri-City Extreme at Capital Combat Zone. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And today we're reviewing the Noveski Space Invader. We're gonna jump right into it today. This is the box your Noveski's gonna come in, as you can see, as we remove the lid, it's got a nice, simple Noveski logo up top, as well as all the information about the safety features of your airsoft rifle. Underneath that, you'll notice a nice piece of impact rated foam to protect your weapon during shipping. Underneath that, it's gonna have everything in this box that you see here. You've got your gun, your 210 round high capacity magazine, and a couple extra features. So let's get into it. Starting off, we have a very nice metal laser etched engraved Noveski stick mag. This is a proprietary mag, only does about two, uh, 210 rounds. We have a very nice Space Invader patch, set of backup metal iron sights, and a very nice QD sling point. Plus, we have the gun right here. Right. As you can see, it's a very nice red color, very solid build from the start. Comes with your very nice trademarks from Noveski as well, and also some engravings, as you can see. So yeah, very nice, very well done. So Brandon, how about you tell me about this wonderful airsoft gun? Excellent, yeah, absolutely. So first and foremost, this is a full metal build. You have the only real polymer components are going to be your pistol brace and your pistol grip. Uh, the weapon comes out of the box shooting about three between 330 and 345 FPS nice. with a 2.0 gram BB. It comes with your factory installed orange tip as well as a three position collapsible stock. Weapon as a whole is actually rather light for a full metal build. However, it is very solid and rigid. Uh, I could definitely see how this would be playable in both CQB and mid-range fields. On the weapon itself, you're going to have a couple of ambidextrous features, one being your selector switch from both uh, single fire and full auto, as well as your bolt release. One side here and your standard bolt release here. The bolt catch on this weapon is 100% fully functional, as you can see in the test set. You can release the bolt from your right side. Right out of the gate, Noveski has provided you a lot of really nice logoing on the weapon itself. First and foremost, you're going to notice on the right side of the magwell, the Noveski Rifle Works laser engraved logo, as well as Noveski laser engraved logos on both left and right of your rail segment. As we turn the rifle over, you'll notice that Noveski has also provided you the wonderfully engraved logo on the left side of the magwell. We'll bring this weapon back around because there's a lot of really nice ambidextrous features to this rifle that make it comfortable for both left and right handed shooters. Starting with your selector switch, it goes between semi and full on both left and right handed shooters. The bolt catch on this weapon is both also ambidextrous. You have the catch on your left side as most of your AR platforms have and the bolt catch on this weapon is fully functional. You can drop the mag, the mag from the right side but the bolt catch is ambidextrous for both left and right finger drops. Moving back on the weapon, you have your three position arm stock that will adjust all the way out for any style gameplay. Moving forward from that, your battery storage on this weapon is very unique. Inside your cap, there's a pin that holds the plate in place. You remove your pin to expose your battery. The cap comes out and you have a Dean's connected battery. This weapon is going to be using an 11-1 Lipoly battery for our test today. So as far as the internals go on this airsoft gun, you're going to come equipped with the SDU 2.0 Silver Edge gearbox. This is a version 2 setup and compatible with all version 2 components. The only thing on this setup that's going to be proprietary is the hop-up unit. It does have a full metal non-rotary style hop-up unit. The gearbox itself will come with a programmable electronic trigger assembly with five different programming modes. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and take it out to the range and get some shots. And remember, always wear your iPro. All right, so we're out here on the range. I have the Noveski Space Invader with me right now, loaded up with 0.20 gram BBs and an 11.1 LiPo battery. We're gonna do a quick chrono test real quick. 
All right, we have 328.9 with point uh, with one joule. 32 uh, 332.4 and 1.03 joules. 3361 FPS and 1.05 joules. All right, looking good. So we're also going to do a little uh, little test here on its capabilities with uh, the amazing gearbox that it has right here. So I'm going to shoot at this target right here. Semi-automatic is already feeling very snappy. It's a very nice solid trigger. Now let's check out the full auto. Wow, that is a very nice, healthy, healthy full auto. I believe that was going at 16 rounds a second. Yeah, that's feeling really good. A couple more in semi-auto. And let's see how it's going. Uh, let's see how oh, it is throwing them out there, even though it is only two O's. All right, looking pretty good. Yeah, let's uh, do a little more full auto just to see how we like it. It's feeling pretty good in my opinion. Yeah, it's feeling good. All right, we just did our shooting test, and now we're going to take it back with me and Brandon, and we're going to give our final thoughts. So, John, what did you think of the test shooting on this one today? I got to say, I was very impressed. The sturdiness and the capabilities of this replica are amazing. Uh, the semi-automatic was very responsive. The trigger was very crisp. Full auto was really nice and healthy. Um, really good range out of the box too. I would say it's a very great CQB gun, very great mid range. I would definitely use it out here. Excellent, that's what I like to hear. So just for reference, we were using an 11-1 LiPo battery on this uh, setup today. You can get this gun and many more like it through the Tri-City Extreme web website or by visiting the trailer here at Capital Combat Zone. This one comes in at $379.99. It comes with your gun, your magazine, and all the accessories as well as the box. Um, with that being said, go ahead, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you want to see next, and we'll see you on the field. So let's get into it. Starting off with a couple of the accessories. We have the very nice uh, stick mag uh, to protect... Pro <laughs>